the frustration with this president, and you heard Dick Cheney, among others, talking about Hillary Clinton as a possible candidate. Mm -hmm. Her husband took this issue on and answered the question about it, I think, brilliantly, because I agree that's exactly what Dick Cheney's up to. He's a brilliant He's rascal. good. Take a look. He's a brilliant and good look. Rascal. I'm always gratified whenever anyone says anything nice about her, and I very much agree that she's done a good job. But I also have a, a high regard for Vice President Cheney's political skills. And I think one of those great skills is sowing discord among the opposition. She is a member of this administration and committed to doing it. And I think he, by saying something nice about her in the way he did it, knew that it might cause a little trouble. I don't want to help him succeed in his political strategy, but I admire the fact that he's still out there hitting the ball. I like that. Film. That is... You know who Spot else is on. still out there hitting the ball? Who? William Jefferson Clinton. Yeah. 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 He's hitting a bucket of balls. Nobody's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so That's no. so exactly what is happening. It's, it's, it's transparent. Well, but I'll tell you what. There are a lot of Democrats that would love his wife to be on the ticket in 12 right now. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. So, and Easy you always get a get collective rolling of the eyes whenever you start talking about things like this. But it is a possibility, so let us talk about it. Because I will guarantee you, and John Meacham's our historian, he can remember this. I was playing wiffle ball at the time, so I don't recall <laughs> exactly what happened in September of 1967. But I will guarantee you, nobody in September, what is today? Nobody on September 19th, 1967, ever dreamed in a million years that six months later, Lyndon Johnson would announce to the country on March the 30th that he was not running for re-election. Six months is a lifetime. What did McMillan say in politics? A week is a lifetime. Six months is a lifetime. If these numbers keep going down, is there any possibility that this president decides to step down? No, I don't think so, because he's a very competitive guy. And he knows if he's a and, Lynn, and of course, Lyndon Johnson wasn't. Well, if he's a he read Bible scriptures if, and if he's a two-term president, he's an historical figure of incredible significance. And if he's a one-term president, some will write him off in history as a historical accident. <clears throat> he's going to run again, uh, but he's going to have to figure out a better plan than he's got right now, or he will be in big trouble. Uh, do, yeah, I, I just wonder how excited I, people around him are that are close to him for him running again. You do get the sense talking to people in the White House that most of the people in Obama's closest quarters feel like he's doing America a favor and that they and he hears at the end of the day that America is not worthy of him. Uh, I just I just I think it's a possibility at some point if the numbers keep going down that somebody like Hillary could step in. I think he would want it, it, I think he does have the George H.W. Bush model very much in his head, but he wants that to be a noble fight that he loses, and then he can say he was right. Right. I don't think there's any chance. And that's what I see in, in this latest proposal, actually. It's being teed up.